Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can leave some car tracks so when you hit the brake do that. So you see your marks over there, they disappear after a while and make a sound. So let's go. So first of all we need the material for this so we have the screeching sound like this and we have the tire marks so that's just a texture like that. So first of all, we should say right click, create material, and then we open this up. And we have to change a few things here. So the first thing is the material domain is, in this case, the deferred decal, decal, sorry. And the blend mode is transcendent. Transcendent, yeah. Great, so the next thing is we put the texture A into the opacity so that it's like that. So apply save this and then we can close this. So the next thing is we need the um, right click blueprint class actor. In this case uh, actor for the marks so that will be like this. Open this up and the first thing is we need a decal. And let's put this down here like that. We make it much smaller, so 0 0.5, something like that. You can play around with this value, so you can test it out. We use our material here, put it right here. So let's make this a little bit smaller like that and the x value to 0 0.1. Great. So now let's go to our AI car. So that's also as you re uh, remember our drivable car and we add a few things here. So we need the point where the decals can spawn. So let's create a plan and this will be just the tire mark underscore L, put this right here under the under the tire like that, make it smaller. Great. So and then we can just duplicate this and call this tire mark R and just move it to the other side. So now we have two points where the decals can spawn. Great. And the last thing is we add an audio component. So this will be the tire sound like that put it to the mesh and we put it right between the tires like that. Great. So now we need the function. So we go back to our event graph and we have our handbrake input. So I will use this as a trigger. So you can use whatever you want, but just for example, we use this. So we go from the new handbrake value out here, promote the variable because we need this later like that, put it down here, and then we just have to set the handbrake on press and release the handbrake. So that it's true when it pressed, of course, and it is um, false when it's released, like that. Great. So. We have our handbrake here, we had our material for the backlight, so you can ignore it, this is from the last tutorial. And now what we need here is, first of all, we need to spawn the decals. So we take our tire marks L and R, put it right here. Then we go from the tire mark and say, get world location, copy and paste this for the other side 
and then we say spawn actor from class. Also here you have right click on spawn transform split structure pin put this right here so the spawn transform location will of course the location of the tire marks the spawn transfer rotation it's pretty easy we say get actor rotation like this and put it right here and the spawn transform scale i would recommend 0 0.2 for all these oh. well you see here like that so and then we can just copy and paste this for the other side put this inside here then again the tire marks l goes in here the get actor rotation goes in here and we can leave the spawn transform scale so the last thing we have to do is to set the class so we go back set our marks here and just click on the arrow to Put it right here so spawn actor marks is now for the tire marks r and tire marks l as well we want to play a sound so we get our tire sound here and we go into the details because of course we have to set it so we need uh, use our screeching sound here put it right here so that's now our tire sound and then we go from the tire sound and say play like this and this goes in here and we go outside here and say stop and the stop will be of course the when we release the handbrake so the handbrake will be released set the material for the backlights and after that it stopped the tire sound so now we need our handbrake function we say get and what we have to do now, we go from here, say delay to, for example, 0 0.1. And then we need the branch to see if the handbrake is still active. Put this into the condition and on true, we go back to the spawn actor like this. So compile and save this. Let's see if it works when we hit play. Oh, yeah, of course, um, we go back to our viewport, select our tire marks here. Then we say generate overlap events, can characters tab on is no and no collision. Otherwise the car will flip around and we say hidden in game. So compile and save this. And when we now hit this here, you can see works pretty good so the last thing I want to do is let's add up some smog in here so we go back to our marks and then we say particle system like this and then we need some smoke in here so let's go back here and select some sound particle for this like this for example put it right here a little bit more down here compile and save this and the last thing we have to change is we go to the decal and we have to set the fade start delay let's put this to five seconds for example so the last thing uh, we have to do is we go back to our AI car and then we open up our tire sound and be sure that auto active is false and oh I forgot to set this one sorry um, compile and save this and when we now hit play drive forward then we hit the brake you can see leave some marks and then they disappear great so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.